Hi, my name is Nathan from NextGen Tutorials, and today I'm showing you a little tutorial that I have to make for school about how to improve your workspace as well for at home working as for um, on the job working. Now let's start with with LinkedIn. So if I go to my internet and I type in LinkedIn then it'll bring me to my LinkedIn page but one thing I want to show you first is that you can um, make groups which interest you and these groups can be made within your company um, let's take a tour this will be easier to explain it to you uh, you can quickly see what new in your groups what's new in your groups and discover other groups to join now um, <clears throat> keep up with discussions so for example you may be interested in international business you can join this group you can have discussions with the members you can add new contacts to uh, your group you can add new contacts that you didn't know before uh, joining that group which is always really interesting but if you want to create a group which is really interesting as well you can name it you can have um, a group type a summary a description a website like for example your company website the group owners email um, you can auto join people uh, request to join um, you can choose the language the location you can even add uh, social media groups as Twitter announcements um, and you can create an open group or a members only group and this is useful because um, you can discuss topics work related topics you can discuss meetings you can uh, evaluate meetings you can um, do everything in one uh, online group where everyone is up to date with the latest news on for example a subject that you're working on and that's why uh, groups in uh, LinkedIn are really important. Um, another thing is you can also share an update, but this will be seen by all your professional con contacts. Now, if you want to put yourself in the spotlight, you can always share your, rec your latest, your newest achievement. And based on that, people might think, oh, wow, this person is really interesting or passionate about this. We we're looking for someone like that in our new business, uh, in our new project. So let's see if we can hire him. You have your notifications. You can see who viewed your profile. You can add the connections from Gmail, Yahoo, Hotmail or other. You can check your messages. Um, for example, here you have Patrick G. Lemons invited me for to join his group. Uh, you can view your profile, um, you can complete it, you can add um, job descriptions, you can add your experience. Um, people can endorse you for your skills. For example, digital marketing, apparently um, three people or may maybe more think that I am skilled at digital marketing. Now, people that are looking for new employees or that are looking for new talent, they can use LinkedIn to scout for new talent, which is really useful. Now, for working at home, there's two things that um, you can use. There's TeamViewer, which is a program you really have to install on your computer, um, which I would recommend. And there's Join.me, which is a browser version and makes it a little easier if it's a one-time job so if you have to help a client he won't have to install a program so if you have to help a client from 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 home instead of from your office or you don't have you don't want to visit the client because it's a long way um, for example overseas you can always go to join me and start a meeting now when you start a meeting you'll have to install this little plugin but it takes two seconds and as you can see now it's connecting and I can share this screen or I can ask the other person to swap screens and um, so that I can see his screen which is really useful you can add new contacts 
um, you can delete them if they're spamming something you can even um, voice chat voice chat uh, voice call them so you can have a conference call with um, multiple people and it's a free tool um, it's really easy to use so you won't have any complex uh, issues because of your client not being able to work as well with um, screen software now if the client is um, a regular client it might be useful to install team viewer now what is team viewer team viewer is basically the same thing but you can have all your computers right here you don't need to access the internet immediately you do need an internet connection and when the client is for example having problems on his computer but he has to go to he has a meeting and he wants it fixed uh, ASAP you can access him his computer without him having to do anything so as you can see I have um, two computers in uh, my computer base uh, I can double click my media laptop which is uh, my laptop that is used for watching movies videos stuff like that now let's imagine that this is a client now first of all let me just close up this again what will happen when I double click the media laptop is that it will open up a screen showing me um, the desktop of my laptop that's someplace else so let's see I double click and as you can see you still have a border here that you can close minimize or uh, make smaller and you can see this is not a regular desktop this one is from another computer because you have the start here and the little start over here now what you can do with this uh, is really simple it's just work with another computer you can fix his problems so to speak so if you have like uh, if he has firewall issues I can just go to his firewall and update his firewalls settings because it's not using the recommended settings now it is and you can um, call your client tell him your problems are solved um, I changed your firewall settings you have nothing to worry about anymore now if there's someone on the other line so watching while you're working on the on the computer you can still call him have a conference call uh, just do a VoIP call you can even just send text messages which will appear uh, in a box popping up as you can see you the box on my screen is popped up here and I can answer and now I'm chatting with myself basically I can even open up my webcam and have my screen capture up here but I don't have a camera connected to this one I do have a camera connected I don't have a camera connected to this laptop I have to set it up first but these are one of the these are many functions that you can use with um, team viewer that are really easy it's an free it's a free program but you can go pro uh, which will allow you more uh, which will give you more functions such as um, starting a computer that's in standby jump starting a computer that's in standby for if if the client didn't um, leave his computer on stuff like that um, there's a lot of settings uh, you can go to your start if something's wrong you can go to your start just by pressing the team viewer button and you can work as it with with the computer of someone else or your, your own computer for that fact um, if you want to work from home now let's close this up and I'm going to show you one last thing that I think is really interesting and that's called SkyDrive SkyDrive is like Dropbox but it's made by Microsoft it's actually called OneDrive now um, this is really useful and I use it for example which uh, in a way that you can use it for your job as well I back up I, I make all my documents in SkyDrive as you can see I have my motivation my uh, fitness my Bewijs van deelname document here I have my uh, my school documents in, in a folder here these are all folders on my computer as you can see in here I have um, my SkyDrive folder my school uh, second semester and I can see all my courses um, if I have um, tasks I put them in here and I can access them on all my computers as long as I log into to OneDrive so if I log into OneDrive on another computer it's immediately backed up in the cloud and immediately accessible from the cloud 
So let's see, if I open the second semester and I go to a task and I open up, uh, let's say, my law task and I open up this document, I will be able to edit the document right in my browser. So I don't even need to have Word installed on my device. So I can basically do it on every de device. I just press um, uh, Bewerken in Word. Uh, he'll ask me if you want to open Word on your computer or not. Let's uh, not do it and do it in Word Online. And as you can see, it's it's opening a Word document in my browser. And now I can just edit stuff. I could delete stuff and this is very interesting to use with multiple people as well because if I post this link in my Facebook group the link to this document so if I go to um, share with other people I can link this document in my Facebook group and everyone can edit it and you can see you can live see who is editing your document now once that is done you, uh, it automatically saves. You can see here, it's saved in OneDrive. So uh, I hope you learned something from this. These were some nifty and useful tools to improve your um, workspace, uh, your work at home, and your social media for business related, for job related stuff. Okay, I hope you enjoyed and talk to you guys later. Bye bye.